Come back in the kitchen again with Chef Ricardo cooking show guys amazing to be in the kitchen giving you another recipes and another ideas and things where you can make in your kitchen at home anyway guys this is some brand new recipe from Chef Ricardo from the heart of Jamaica and I try my best to share some of the world most beautiful recipe with you something which you can make in your kitchen and your whole family will be happy and loving this recipe and not only that we try our best to give you some Detoxing, cleansing, weight loss, live a healthy lifestyle, less oil, less butter, less sugar, and live a better healthy lifestyle. Healthy way is the best way to go. And tune in with Chef Ricardo. Don't forget, follow me on Instagram or Facebook page. And also, you can also leave your comments in the description box. If you want me to make something fantastic for you guys, you know what to do. Leave your comments in the description box. Anyway, I love every one of you. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please, 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 if you want me to make something, share it with me, guys, in the description box. If you learn something new, please share it with me. I love every one of you guys, and thank you so much for taking the time watching this on an amazing video right here. So tune in, and let's make this together. Oh, for yeah, sure. nice, guys. So basically, I'm in the kitchen with another one this evening, and I'm going to be showing you how exactly you can make some banana dumpling. Get your blender, all right, and get... Right, yeah, yeah, two fingers of green banana. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna remove the skin from the banana. That's that's what the most important thing what you need to do is remove the skin from the banana. All right. Make sure your banana is wash off and thing. Yeah. Cut up the banana into the blender, just like this. That's the first fingers of banana. All right, cut up another finger of banana. Two fingers of banana. That's all you need to do. Just put a little bit of water to free up the blender. Alright, now we're going to blend it, 2-3 to three seconds. Put this big ball right here, and let's blend it, 2-3 to three banana inside of it just like this yeah you need to put the banana in the in the bowl all right so make sure the banana proper blend out you see that yeah the banana for proper blend out like that Lisa, big up yourself. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Really appreciate it. Alright, so that's the banana. We shall just blend up two fingers of banana. Green banana right here. Alright. Now we're gonna put some flour inside of the bowl. So roughly about I'm gonna let's put in about one cup of flour first. Alright, quarter cups of cornmeal. Right, this is just eye measurement. Little bit of salt. Nice one. Alright, two fingers of banana, quarter cups of cornmeal, and cups of plain flour. We're using all purpose flour, alright? Mix this together. Cause you need to mix up this first, alright guys? Yeah. 
please do this first. Alright. So basically, sometimes you just need to just make it because sometimes you know you have need to add any water to the dumpling, to the dough. Alright. You just have to just knead it in like this. So as you can see, there's no need for water. All right, so that means the one cups of flour and the two fingers of banana works really well with a little bit of cornmeal. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna simply wet my hand. Just wet your hand like this. Like this and get it kneaded. All right. Green banana dumpling. Try this one with some cornmeal at work. Make sure, guys, you have to make sure your hand them clean, your fingernail clean, you wash your hand properly. And if you're using long nail, for all of the people who like to use long nail, that not gonna work. All right, that's straight red flag. All right, so this is exactly what you need to do. But what I'm gonna do now is go down pan this in the container right here. I need a tea. Alright? You need a you need to need a tea. Yeah. Just need a tea like this for a nice good 10 minutes. Alright? If not, just put a little bit more flour on it like this. Alright? Yeah. And these these recipe are a normal recipe. Alright? That's why I even have to ask a question. Why is only Jamaican alone do these things? All right, guys, trust me. So you just need a thing like this. You can put up to three fingers of banana with it, all right? See that? So this is what you want. Nice, lovely dough, all right? Green banana dumpling from Chef Ricardo today. Two fingers of this, cups of flour, quarter cups of cornmeal, pinch of salt, and you're good to go. All right, so what you need to do now, to be honest with you, 100% you need to do this, is wrap the dough like this. like this all right you see you need to wrap it like this all right guys once you wrap it leave it for about 10 minutes and it works surface all right beautiful nice and lovely now let's get the cooker on Beautiful one. All right, a medium sized pot on the stove. That's very important for you to do this, all right? Medium sized pot on the stove. Turn on the cooker. Blast heat right there. Alright, then we're going to cover it like this. Alright, beautiful one. But as I say, guys, yeah, that's the way we normally make the Jamaican banana dumpling. Alright, so if you don't know anything about Jamaican banana dumpling, then they come in really handy for you. So, what I'm gonna do with this pot right here, I'm gonna simple. Let's put a little bit of salt. I'm using sea salt. Very good for you. Hey guys, remember to check out the Caribbean Fusion Sauce and Spice website. Support them and remember Mother's Day is also coming up. Check out them on their website. You can get um you can get their gift set on their website. Alright? It's a beautiful, beautiful recipe from Chef Ricardo today. 
and I decided to share this on an amazing recipe with you, alright? Alright, Jamaica Recipe Queen, thank you so much for coming on the show. We appreciate you 100%. Alright, I have to make sure your hand clean in the back. A lot of people don't like wash hand. Red flag. Alright? If you don't like to wash hand, that's a red flag right there. Alright, now, guys, this is exactly what we're talking about. This is it. Alright? Yeah, man, this is it. That's that right there. That, that's the dough right there, ready? Ready to go into the pot. See that? So if you don't know anything about um, real Jamaican, what do you call it? Real Jamaican um, banana dumpling, then this is a recipe for you. All right, now, this is the way you make the Jamaican um, banana dumpling. All right, you can't be shy. Make sure your hand them clean and your fingernail them clean. No dirt that's supposed to be in your fingernail. No black fingernail can make Jamaican dumpling because that will be straight red flag. A lot of people don't like wash their hand. You have to wash your hand first because that is a discrimination to Jamaican dumpling. All right, so please wash your hand and make sure you don't have no black nail to make Jamaican caramel dump uh, banana dumpling. All right, that's Chef Ricardo recipe. We're gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. So if you wanna learn how to make the Jamaican dumpling, all right. So basically, you get a piece and you can put it into your hand. You can roll it like a ball. But anything you wanna do with it, you can do with it. All right. Any single thing you wanna do with it. Some people what they normally intend to do is put a little bit of a dough, a flour, mix into it, and just give it a nice little. You know what I mean? Yeah. It doesn't matter how you wanna make your dumpling. It's up to you. Any way you wanna make them. It's up to you. You can make the Jamaican dumpling anyway. But the most important thing is your hand must clean. Uh, a lot of people don't like to wash them hand. So if you're gonna make Jamaican dumpling, you have to make sure your hand is clean. And you know what I mean? Don't disrespect to the Jamaican um, banana dumpling from Chef Ricardo. That's my recipe. Alright? Beautiful one guys. Anyway. Yeah, um, yeah. So basically, you know. The dough should be a little bit more set, a little bit more like um, I must say to you, um, like just a little bit more longer. Cause normally, I normally put the dough for 15 or 20 minutes, but sometimes I just, you know, what I mean, yeah, yeah, man. But to be honest with you, if you're gonna make Jamaican camp, um, banana green banana dumpling, make sure you nail them clean. All right, cause that's red flag straight away all right and you can't have long meal to make jamaican dumpling any kind of jamaican dumpling all right you nail them off clean and nice and you know make sure them always looking good beautiful one guys all right yeah man that's exactly what i'm talking about right now yeah 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 all right make sure the kitchen clean all right all right what we're gonna do right now is as I said, it's a beautiful recipe, guys. Trust me, any one of you guys definitely can do this recipe at home, all right? Um, yeah. Well, that's what I'm going right or so. So this recipe is like, if you're at home and you feel like, you know what I mean, you feel lazy and I want to get up out of the bed, this is a recipe for you. Trust me. All right? It's a recipe where... 100% you have to get up out of your bed and come and make some Jamaican dumpling. Trust me. If you're a person don't like to get up out of the bed and do a certain things, this is a recipe for you. Alright. Alright. So basically as I said, with the Jamaican dumpling, your hand have to clean. Because You can't make Jamaican dumpling with any dirty nails. It will be disgraceful for Jamaican, alright? So make sure your hands are very clean. And, 
You know what I mean? No dirt. All uh, them stuff they added. Everything was clean and looking good. All right, let's let's give the dough them a, a stir right now because when you're making the dumplings, you, know, you cannot have them like you have to keep do a thing like this with them. All right, because you don't want them to um stick on the pot. Yeah, yeah, you don't want that, man. That's that's a red flag. Beautiful one. So as you can see, guys, it's looking good. Very, very good. Yeah. That that is looking really, really, really good, guys. One hundred percent. Trust me, because you know what I mean. As I say, the dumpling them is very. It's not really complicated to make, but to be honest with you, yeah, is is um yeah. 100% is going to be uh, one of these kind of recipe where you definitely have to set to yourself, you know what? Uh, you have to try it at home, no matter what happened. Yeah, and as I say, if you're making Jamaican dumpling, you cannot use any black nails to make Jamaican calm dumpling, alright? It's going to be disgraceful to Jamaican alright so you have to make sure you have your hand them clean and all these things alright beautiful recipe from Chef Ricardo today 100% guys yeah man look at that so they look nice yeah yeah man I saw them looking look at that one that look like a rock <laughs> it looks like some stone uh, yeah look at that one guys ah Green banana dumpling from Chef Ricardo. If you never met this before, you need to make this. And once you make it, you just drink a big bottle of water, flush down your system, and trust me, 100% you will see exactly what Chef Ricardo been talking about. All right? Matt, big up yourself. Thank you so much for coming on the show. I really appreciate it 100%, guys. Definitely, we have so much recipe coming out. You know what I mean? As I said, you know what I mean? We did um, the video the other day, we are talking about, um, what do you call it, um, green planting dumpling, yeah that one is gone already man, yeah, 100% that one is gone, yeah, alright, what I want to simply say to you guys with this recipe, it's going to be cooking on this side of the stove at the moment. And what we're going to do, we're going to fry up some butter bean. Alright. Fry up some butter bean. Alright, we're going to put a little bit of oil into the frying pan, alright? Just a little bit of oil, not much. We're using up some olive oil. So if you're a person who loves olive oil, it's coming really handy for you, alright? Yeah man. So what you wanna do is yeah, get things running. Uh, there's no time to muck about in the kitchen. So first of all we're gonna get some tomato. Put it into the pot. Look at that. Oh. That is lovely. That is lovely, guys. Now, wipe one hand. Come on. I think that's enough. It's looking good. Got some spring onion.
Yeah, man. All right, look at that. Now we're gonna get a little piece of pepper. Second, we're gonna get some red pepper. That is lovely. Beautiful. Yellow pepper. Yeah, man. Banana dumpling them take about 20 minutes or 30 minutes to cook. See that? Look at that. Alright, we're gonna get some black pepper. Little bit of chili. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nice one. Give it a mix. So that look nice. Take a picture guys. Come take a picture quickly. Because I'm not gonna have it too long. Take a picture, take a picture, take a picture. Yeah. So that look nice. Simple. Alright? Simple one guys. Trust me. Very simple and delicious. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. Take a picture before it goes. Very, very simple and unique. Alright guys, so as I can see for yourself, it's not now my recipe. And anyone can do this at home. Doesn't complicate it. So you just want to make sure that the vegetable fry up properly. Yeah. Make sure all of the vegetables them fry up really nice and lovely. Alright? So that's simple, nothing too complicated. And you don't have to stress out yourself. And you know, that's simple, simple, simple little thing like this. Alright? Yeah man. Yeah. That's a simple little thing. Nothing too complicated. That's, that's a pinch of sea salt. This is the butter bean. Yeah, that's the butter bean. Look at that. Beautiful, guys. Simple and nice. See that? That is lovely. Not too complicated.
very, very delicious and nice. And not only that, it's so simple. Yeah.